Well guys, we actually did it. We got Fiverr to sponsor this series. What an amazing result. As a channel with just 2,000 subs, this is an unbelievable result to get this. And I can't thank all of you enough for those of you that helped me by retweeting the tweets, commenting Fiverr below for watching and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for your support. And now that we've got this, let's make this anime happen. And thank you to Fiverr for taking a chance on a nascent channel. Let's get into this. Welcome back to episode 4 of this series where Daddy tries to create an anime from scratch and pitch it to Netflix and Crunchyroll. Thanks for that, Fuge. Welcome back, guys. So since we got the cash from Fiverr to do this, I went ahead and blew the entire budget on one animator. And well, here's the result. You're going to cut that, right? Jokes aside, it's been a very busy couple of weeks, but today I'm going to share everything we've done so far and everything we've got planned. So last episode, I'd hired three character designers on Fiverr to find one I liked best. I shared two of the characters with you and I was waiting on the third. So I had a delivery extension request from the third designer I was waiting on and my initial reaction was to ask her to cancel because I'd already been waiting two weeks. But after explaining to her that this was going to be part of a potentially bigger order, I decided to give her a second chance and we agreed that she would get it back to me within 24 hours. Check it out, guys. I'm pretty happy with this. That came out nicely. I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but we gave her a second chance and she delivered. Are you f***? kidding me she gave me four stars i gave her five for everything that is just not on i give you a second chance i give you five star rating and you give me four stars let's look past that she did the best job so i asked her to send me a custom offer for 30 characters so that we can crack on make sure you communicate with your artists regularly i'll be the first to admit that i'm not the best at articulating what's in my head so i prefer to work in small batches even though i'm ordering 30 characters i asked the designer to send them to me one by one so that we don't waste her time and mine if she comes back with 30 characters I don't like. And this saved us a lot of time when creating the Goblin Horde because Camilla being a character designer wanted to make every character design unique. But that wouldn't work if we needed hundreds of these to make up a Goblin Horde and it would just be a waste because they'd blur into the background of a scene. So we agreed on a simple format where we have three types of goblins and Camilla gets free reign over their hairstyle and clothing. And now that we have that formula, it speeds everything up. And if we need more of these in the future, it's trivial for her to create them. We also broke the order into two parts, sketches and illustrations. It's much faster for her to produce a sketch. And this is important for me to be able to crack on with the storyboard. So while she's putting the final touches on the characters, I'm able to make progress in parallel. I think this is the part where I do the sponsored segment, right? Do I need to do it if this whole series is just one big tribute to my love of Fiverr? Yay. This video is sponsored by Fiverr! Now, I think it's pretty clear how much I love Fiverr at this point, given that I asked them to sponsor this video series. But hey, here are a few reasons I love their platform. One, they have everything I need. There are literally over 500 services on their platform. Two, their services are fixed price. I way prefer this to sites like f***er.com. Can I even say that now that I'm sponsored? Three! They sponsored my channel, which makes them legends in my mind. So if you guys need to hire a freelance for absolutely anything, business or personal projects, go sign up to Fiverr.com. I've left a link in my description below so that you can get up to $100 in free credit for Fiverr.com. Did I do that right? Make sure to smash that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments below. Where was I? Right, so we have all of the character designs and now I'm putting together a more detailed storyboard. I've kicked this off by commissioning several designers to do the first five frames based on the book I've written and a rough shot plan. 
This is actually quite hard as I've never done this before and I don't want to blow through my entire budget without having a full animation to show for it. A typical anime consists of about three to 4,000 frames and 300 cuts and it costs about $300,000 to produce. So if we're budgeting about 15 to $20,000 for this, we can't afford to make mistakes. I'm going to go into full detail on this in the next episode and by then I hope to have a complete storyboard for chapter one which will let us create the animatic. That's all from me for this episode. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. That's a wrap. What are you doing? Four stars.